I'm gonna share with you the ultimate list of tools that you can use to grow your YouTube channel. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, this first section is tools that you can use to manage and basically run your YouTube channel. And real quick, the list that I'm getting ready to rattle off here, we're doing this in rapid fire style. This is my personal list. If you have anything that you wanna to add to it, make sure that you leave it down in the comments. Number one is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is going to help you do A-B testing on your thumbnails. It's gonna help you do keyword research. It's gonna help you tag your videos and all types of other amazing features that YouTubers need. Number two is Morning Fame. Morning Fame basically takes all of your stats and displays them in a easy to understand way and gives you ideas on, you know, hey, is my channel doing good? Is my channel doing bad? How does this video compare to my last video? And so on. But Morning Fame is an amazing tool and you definitely need to add it to your list. Number three is Tubular Labs. Tubular Labs basically gives you insights into activity that's going on in your channel, into the people that are the most active on your channel, into big YouTubers that are commenting on your channel and things like that. Another very awesome tool that you need to add to your stockpile. Number four, vidIQ. vidIQ is similar to TubeBuddy. It doesn't have as many features, but it's good on the SEO side. So make sure that you also check out vidIQ. Personally, I use the free version of vidIQ and I use the paid version of TubeBuddy. Now this second section in the list are tools that you can use to create videos. First is Tuber Tools. That's my website. Tuber Tools basically has a bunch of video graphics and a bunch of other really cool things that you can use in your videos. Make sure that you check out TuberTools.com. Number two, Video Hive. Video Hive has some really high-end graphic templates, After Effects templates, and things like that. So if you know how to use After Effects, you know how to modify this stuff, then Video Hive is definitely something that you want to check out as well. Video Blocks is another one on this list where you can get B-roll footage. I use video blocks for pretty much all of my B-roll stuff that I don't shoot myself. Audio Jungle is an awesome resource for music files. Now these are paid music files, so if you're looking for free music files, you wanna check out the YouTube Audio Library or Incompetech or something like that. But the artists that are inside of Audio Jungle, in my opinion, with my tastes are pretty much unparalleled. The next section on this list is for live streaming. These are all tools that you can use for live streaming or to make your live streams better. Number one is OBS. That's what I currently use for my live streams. I absolutely love it. Tons of stuff that you can do with it. And in most cases, it gets the job done for what it is that you need to do. The second one that you check out that's also free is called XSplit. It's pretty cool, I personally, prefer OBS, but XSplit is also a pretty cool piece of live streaming software. You can use it to stream to YouTube, you can use it to stream to Facebook and so on. Number three is Wirecast. Wirecast is pretty much the Rolls Royce of live streaming software. It does pretty much everything that you need it to do and it does it in a fancy way. It's really easy to use and all of that stuff, but it comes with a heavy price tag. But if you're really wanting to level everything up, then you definitely wanna check out Wirecast. Tweet Alerts TV. Now I get a lot of people in my live streams asking me how I get the tweets to show up on my screen when people tweet at me. I use tweetalerts.tv for that. It is absolutely awesome and it's pretty much dummy proof. Another awesome live streaming tool is Streamlabs, especially if you're streaming to YouTube or if you're streaming to Twitch or something like that. It has a bunch of additional features that you should check out as far as the subscriber notifications, the tweets, the chat showing up on the screen and all of that stuff. Really, really cool piece of, uh, well, it's kind of like a web app, but really cool web app and you should definitely check it out. This next section is apps for your phone that will help you manage your YouTube channel or make videos as well. Pixel Labs will help you do your thumbs and your channel art. DU Screen Recorder will help you record your screen. Kind Master will help you edit your videos on the run. Legend will help you make basic animated intros or info slides. Snapseed will help you make your photos look awesome. You can use it for your B-roll stuff. You can use it for your thumbnails or anything like that. And of course, Evernote or Trello will help you keep everything organized, which is an extremely important part of being a YouTuber long-term. I have a full playlist of YouTube tools that you should definitely check out if you haven't yet. I'll put a link to it actually up here on the screen, so make sure that you go over and you check that video out right now as well, because it's gonna have all types of other additional YouTube tools in there for you. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.